Hello oh guys, welcome back. Now in this session, we are going to discuss about the important detail about SPFX development tool chain. So let's start our discussion. So guys, in the earlier session, I have mentioned that the tools which is being used for SPFX development, which has many things for framework, we are using Node.js. Node.js responsible to build and run the application. Then we have NPM, Node Package Manager, maintains online repository to deploy npm packages we will use npm utility to download the dependency package or say packages for our spfx client side development npm packages can be installed locally or globally using minus g option that i can show you in the upcoming session npm packages can be found in node underscore modules folder in the spfx project which i will show you when we will write the code together in the upcoming session so when we create the project using yeoman utility you will find many of the folders get created and one of the folder is node underscore modules folder and this is the place where you can find all the packages of your spfx solution now let's discuss briefly about the gulp utility which is another tool which is being used in spfx development so guys gulp automates spfx development and deployment task gulp also bundles and minifies javascript and css files as i already mentioned in our last session gulp also responsible for compiling typescript files to javascript files and the process is called transpilation when we convert typescript file to javascript file now let's discuss about another tool which is being used in SPFX development that is Yeoman Generator. As I already mentioned, Yeoman is a scaffolding tool to generate the code for modern web apps. For Yeoman, the next important details about SPFX development tool chain which I wanted to discuss about is the TypeScript. So guys, TypeScript is the primary language for SPFX development which is created by Microsoft. TypeScript is a strongly typed language, adds compile time syntax and type checking for JavaScript. And when we bundle our code using Gulp build, the TypeScript code is converted into JavaScript code. The process is called transpilation. Now moving to another topic that is called workbench. So guys, you must be asking that what actually the workbench is. So to answer your question, whenever we do the SPFX development, we must need an environment where we can test our code. So guys, workbench is that place where we can test our code in the SPFX development journey. So guys, there are two types of workbench one is the local workbench another one is the hosted workbench and i will discuss about these two workbenches in more detail in the upcoming session as we are going to use both the versions of workbenches throughout the course so guys on this note i am stopping over here see you in the next session till then bye bye take care